Hey guys, welcome back. So today I got the cylinder head back for this uh, Countryman. And over here, gotta clean up the bench a little bit, but here's all the parts that go on it. So first thing I'm gonna do is reassemble the head. Look how pretty it is. So nice coming back from the machine shop. So I gotta put the cam with a centric shaft. You know all the bells and whistles that go on this thing on it and uh take you guys with me for that put you back on time warp as i do that and then i'll push this uh push this car over we're gonna do the oil filter housing gasket you know get everything wrapped up i'm not trying to to knock this thing out today um i'm just gonna probably get everything cleaned up put the head in torqued everything and then uh following day just wrap everything up, go on test drive, make sure everything's good. So uh we'll see you, we'll see you around. All right. <laughs> I need to edit this one for sure. So I just learned something here um, from what it looks like the flat tops are where uh, it needs to be timed to set up the timing right so it's got three flat sides and from what I understand well what I just saw is see how this is rounded it's not flat that actually goes on the bottom Because sometimes like this, I don't know if you can see it, you should have the lettering up. I know with the camera sometimes it doesn't, there's there's lettering on here. You may be able to see this one better. And that tells you which, that it's the exhaust cam and that that should be straight up. But I've been working on these, man, since 2007s, 2008. And here, look at this one. The bottom one's rounded on this one too. And I just noticed this now. So since 2008, I've been working on these things and sometimes it's hard to see and you're like, well, where is it? And now I know that the rounded egg goes on the bottom. And you may have seen me torquing these. These all get to torqued to 10 Newton meters. And saw me putting the springs on. You know, BMW sells a special tool. But I use this little guy, <laughs> this little, I don't even know what you would call it. It's a forked screwdriver. Just go in, push on it, and it comes out. You know, one of my guys taught me that. And you saw how fast I was able to install it. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update on that. You know, even years in the game, you're still learning stuff. So uh, we'll keep on keeping on.
make sure the surface is clean go in there with the razor blade make it all super nice I, it's already you can see all the pistons are level it's already pinned for the cam timing and uh yeah so right now i'm gonna i'm gonna try doing you guys or putting you guys in a different view and see how that works kind of in an angle like this and just doing it that way so i'm gonna do the oil filter housing gasket right here because it's real easy i'm gonna put a new cat new gasket on the thermostat and then uh yeah just put it in clean it all up and uh see how it goes so i'm gonna stop this now and switch over to a different kind of mount like i said i'm gonna try to get it like this see how that works anyway all right So I don't know if you can see that sludge just coming out of there so slow like a milkshake, right? This is how all the oil was. I have a video of it coming out of the drain plug, but water got into it and it just turned it into milkshake. So as this is going, I'm just going to clean up. It's probably going to take an hour for this thing to get all cleaned out. But I'm just going to go start cleaning on something else. Keep keep moving here. And try. everyone good to see ya so uh yeah just got it in got everything all right welcome back there's all crazy um so my battery just died but i just want to say that uh i'm gonna stop here for today i uh, got the head assembled and torqued and then when i come in on since i'm not gonna say what day i'm coming in because that way it's gonna throw everybody off if i post this on a friday 
If I post it on a Monday and I say I come in on Monday, you get, you get my drift, right? So I'm trying to not say what day it is because if I fall behind or go ahead or whatever, it's not like, huh, what? Anyway, so the next time I come in, I'm just going to wrap it up. Everything's basically installed. Do the exhaust, do the intake, motor mount, valve cover. I mean, that's pretty much it. And uh, stay tuned because I will teach you how to get oil out of coolant. It's a little trick I learned um, on how to flush something and get it uh, crystal clean, crystal clear, something like that. So, uh, and I'm going to not use 100% oil when I put this so I can flush the engine as well. So, and I do want to get up to operating temperature for both and get everything working good but i'm going to monitor it very very closely so anyway thanks again for stopping by until next time take care